Jen Pignoni. I'm the 200 hour registered yoga teacher here at the Angel Wing in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Today I'm going to walk you through a short, um, slow flow for hip opening. So to start, let's just come to child's pose, bringing big toes together. Separate the knees wide, let your head drop between the arms. Letting the forehead touch to the floor. And just allowing the hips to kind of settle in. Finding a few rounds of breath. Inhaling and filling up from low belly to top of the chest. And exhaling, releasing from top of the chest down and out to the low belly. Just take three more rounds of breath. start to rise up to hands and knees, tabletop position, stacking the shoulders over the wrists, hips on top of the knees. We'll just move through a few rounds of cow cats and on your inhale, let your belly sink, open the heart forward, just find this gentle back bend. And as you exhale, start to round the spine, tuck the chin and drop the head down. We'll take two more rounds like that, inhaling, come forward to cow. And exhaling, rounding for and last round. And then inhaling, coming to a neutral position, just finding that tabletop position again. And we're going to start to find some gentle movement through the hips. So on your inhale, start to lift the right knee up and out to the side. Take a few circles with the knee opening through the right hip. Just be mindful, right? These movements could be big, they could be smaller depending on how that hip is feeling, right? Maybe a little bit tighter, so you might have to go a bit smaller. And then switch directions. And we'll bring that right knee back down to the ground. And we'll switch sides, lifting the left knee out to the side, flex the foot, and start to find those small circular movements. We're keeping the core nice and strong, gaze is gonna stay down. And then switch directions. And then we're going to drop that left knee down, start to curl the toes under, press into the hands, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Once you're here, pedal out the feet, just bending through the knees, alternating. Right, left knee will bend, right leg will straighten, right knee will bend, left leg will straighten. And just move through that a couple more times. And then let both heels settle down towards the floor, taking a full breath in, and exhale, let it go. And then on your next breath in, start to lift the right leg up, three-legged dog, flex through the foot, and then bend your knee, draw the heel to your glute, open the knee out wide, and start to take those hip circles again. So similar movement, just kind of elevating it a little bit because we're in a down dog position rather than hands and knees. And then switch directions. And then we're gonna return back to three-legged dog. We extend the right leg, take a full breath in. And as you exhale, draw your right knee in towards the chest. Start to roll forward, stack your shoulders over the wrist, and step the right foot between the hands. Take a full breath in, lengthen the spine. And on your exhale, tap the back knee to the floor, untuck the toes, inhale, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana. And let the hips settle. You're pulling the navel in, making sure the hips square, the spine is long. Relax the shoulders. And as you breathe and hold, maybe the hips settle a little bit further forward and down, opening through the left hip flexor. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, take your right hand to the left wrist. Start to bend over to the right side, opening through your left side body. Feeling that left hip flexor stretch just a little bit more. And then inhale, come through center. Hands are going to lower down to the ground. Tuck the back toes. Lift that left knee off the floor. Take a breath here. Find that long spine. And as you exhale, start to straighten the right leg. Shift your hips up and back and fold over the right leg. We'll 
Do that again. Inhale. Rebend the right knee. Low lunge. And exhale. Straighten the leg. Lift the hips and start to fold. And we'll do that once more. Inhale. Rebend that right knee. Low lunge. And exhale. Straighten the leg. Lift the hips. Fold. Holding here. Let the head drop down. Pull that right hip crease back so it lines up with the left. Just one last breath here. Inhaling fully. Exhaling completely. And then breathe, ending the right knee. Take that right hand to the inside of the right foot. Widen your right foot just out to the outer edge of your mat, getting this wider stance. Tap the back knee to the floor. Untuck the toes and just pause here. Coming into a lizard pose. You can stay up on the palms, spine long. If you're feeling enough in the hips here, you can pause and stay. If you want to explore going a little bit deeper, maybe you come down to the forearms and palms. And settle here. Keeping the spine long, gaze will stay down. Shoulders pull down the back. Thank for another inhale. And full exhale. And then we'll start to come back to the palms. Tuck your back toes, lift the left knee off the floor. We're gonna step the right foot back so we come into plank pose. Stacking the shoulders, pull the navel up, full breath in. And exhale, push the hips up and back, downward facing down. And pep out the feet, bending from one knee to the other a couple times. And then we'll switch sides. So left leg's gonna lift up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, draw the heel to the glute, open the knee, and then start to find those little circles. Switch directions. And then returning back to that three legged dog, re extending through the left leg. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, hug the feet towards the chest, roll forward, shoulders will stack. Step the left foot between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, open the heart forward. Exhale, right knee's gonna tap down, untuck the toes, reach the arms up, Anjaneyasana as you inhale. And so, on the exhale, and making sure the hips square enables in, long spine, the shoulders relax down. And on this side, feeling that opening through the right hip flexor, take another deep breath in. On the exhale, left hand's going to catch the right wrist, or to side bend over to the left side this time. Right, feeling deeper into the right hip flexor, but all the way down the right side body as well. And then come all the way back up. Release the hands down, frame your left foot. Start to tuck the right toes under. Right knee's gonna lift. Take a full breath in your low lunge, long spine. And exhale, straighten your left leg, shift the hips up and back and start to fold. We'll do that again, inhale. Low lunge, bend the knee, shift forward. And exhale, straighten the leg, lift the hip, start to fold. One last time, inhale, re-bend, low lunge. Exhale, straighten the left leg, lift the hip, start to fold. And just hold and pause here. Let the head drop down. Try to steer that left hip crease back in line with the right. And one last breath. And on your next inhale, re-bend your left knee. Take your left hand to the inside of the left foot. Heel toe your left foot out to the outer edge of your mat. And then drop the right knee to the floor. Untuck the toes, finding lizard pose. Just allow the hips to kind of settle here. And if you're feeling you can go a bit deeper, maybe you start to drop to the forearms and palms. All right, make sure the spine stays long. All right, head is lifted, the gaze is straight down. So neck is as neutral as possible here. Just one last breath here. We'll gently press back to the palms. Start to tuck the right toes, right knee will lift. Step back to plank. Stack the shoulders, pull the navel up, take a full breath in. And exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Give the knees a little pillow. And then when you're ready, on your breath in, lift high on the tippy toes, roll forward to plank, tap 
the knees, untuck the toes. Big toes will come together, separate the knees, shift the hips to heels, child's pose. And just coming back to your breath here. Allow the breath to move fluidly and steady. Noticing the change from start to finish when we started in child's pose at the beginning, the hips may have felt a little bit more stuck. Hopefully they're feeling a little bit more open. Maybe the hips are shifted closer towards the heels. And then we'll rise all the way back up. And that is a, a nice, easy flow you can do anywhere to get the hips a little bit more open. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.